Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Asking Kids. Today we're taking a look at a beautiful tool which you can use to do your paintings directly inside of Blender totally for free. This is called Has Paint Layers and it's made available by Heroic. And for those who like to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can download this totally for free. Heroic has also created a couple of interesting stuff which you can get for free, which includes the procedural pipe, the procedural low poly stylized rock, and also the procedural 4D wood textures and shaders that you can download. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Has Paint Layers, which is a pretty cool tool for anyone who likes to start painting directly in Blender. And how this tool works is super easy. So with Blender simply open, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. And with that installed, you can simply click on the bugger menu and save your preference and with that done we're simply going to close the preference window if you tap n on the keyboard you would notice that right here we have paint layers and this works pretty similar to how you get to paint with every other painting tool that you use for texturing and to demonstrate that what we'll need to do is just simply get rid of that I'm going to import Susan. So we're just going to get Susan right here, subdivide this by three, position this how we like it to be, put some lightings to it, and then we can proceed to take a look at some of the features and functions that comes to the paint layers. And with this here, how we can start texturing is pretty simple. If you already have a texture that you like to work with, you can click on this button to import that, to import that and load this into your brand new layer, which we've just created. It's also worth mentioning that for the layers that you're working on, you also have material settings for individual layers. At this point, the material type we like to work with is the procedural BSDF, but if you like to use the unleaf, you can also go ahead and select it. The height intensity deals with the displacement size or the bump size that you would like to work with. And for the texture size, you can either increase this or you can reduce this. So depending on the texture size you like to work with, you can play with the scaling. One more thing we need to do before we start texturing is to simply go over to the material section and assign a brand new material. And with that done, we can start painting. So what we need to do is just to simply close this and then click on the plus button just to restart that and we're going to simply select the fill object and fill this all the way up and once we fill it we can go back switch over to the paint select select the color we like to paint and we can activate the texture layer we would like to work on. So at this point, this is the texture layer we would like to work on and we can simply click on that. If we would like to add more layers to this, we can click on the plus sign, click on this section and start painting right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the brush size and with that, we can start painting. If you like to use your symmetry, of course you can. So we can also involve the symmetry. So with this, we can paint however we choose. Some other interesting things that you might also find very, very useful and I believe a lot of tools would also have this, but to see it as a free tool just simply makes it even way worth it, is the blend mode. So for the blend mode, we can switch the blend mode however we choose. If we like to make this screen, we can set that. If we like to make this multiply, we can do that. If we also like to divide it, we can also go ahead and do all of this. So with the blend mode, you can simply mix these things up and get some cool stuff happening. Now, depending on the texture you would like to paint on, you can also specify that. So right here, you would notice that we've got the fuse. And with this, we can also proceed to start making some other paintings. So for this one, I'm just simply going to set it all the way there, bring this all the way to this point, and we're going to change the fuse to be metallic. And once we have that, we can start painting some metalness into this. And you also notice that right here, you've got opacity, which means you can also play with the opacity to dial this down and dial it all the way up. And we can also choose to move the layers up and down. So in this case, if you like this layer to go down, you can click on that button and this layer goes all the way down. And if you would like this to be up, you can click on that and get it all the way up. Now, this wouldn't be visible with just typical metalness and diffuse. This would make a lot of sense, especially if you're working with multiple colors. So say, for example, you like to paint in a little bit of yellow and you like to mix that up. You can also mix this up and at the same time, play with the layer stacking. There's also a couple of interesting things that has to do with you being able to either make it visible, make it invisible, bake these out as single textures or totally delete the textures altogether. So however you choose to work with this is totally up to you. It is free, it's available, and it is pretty interesting to see that a tool like this currently exists. There's also another tool which is called the UCU Paint. This is also a brilliant tool I would suggest you check out 
if you're looking for more tools that you can use for doing texturing it is an amazing tool it's currently available you can also go ahead and grab it it's always been updated like right now you notice it's been updated just five hours ago and it's the same thing all the time more so there is also some additional add-ons that you can also get just in case you like to get some more premium add-ons on blender market i'm going to link all of this in the description just in case you like to check them out so this is it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and i see you guys in the next one peace